All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This reading here is for my Virgo Zodiac sign. This is your love and relationship reading for the month of January 2021, guys. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do a lot of talking. We're just going to dive right in. This is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. If it does, everything may not be for you. And this reading could be messages for someone else. And energies are fluid and interchangeable, so energies can cross. And if you need to, please flip them. We're going to pull your overall energy with the romance overall energy with the romance and love love and romance deck here so clarify the energy of virgo zodiac sign as far as love and relationships please for january thank you 2021 clarify the energy of virgo zodiac sign for january 2021 thank you spirit and can i have one more can you clarify the energy of virgo thank you so for these we have it is safe for you to love, playfulness, and you deserve love. Guys, uh, if you need to, please feel free to skip ahead. I'm going to lay out the entire spread before I begin. We're going to be using the Modern Witch deck here today. If you're interested in purchasing the deck, I did leave a link down below uh, for my Amazon. It's an Amazon affiliate link if you would like to go check it out. Clarify, is it safe for you to love? For Aries, uh, Virgo, I'm sorry. Why is, I just did Aries, so Aries is trying to come out. I'm <laughs> sorry, guys. Clarify, is it safe for you to love for Virgo Zodiac sign for January 2021? 20, Clarify, is it safe for you to love for Virgo Zodiac sign for 2021? January. Nope, don't want to talk. All right. Clarify, is it safe for you to love for Aries Zodiac sign for January 2021? 20, there we go. Thank you. Can I have two more? Is it safe for you to love for Virgo Thank you. And can I have one more, please? Clarify, is it safe for you to love for Virgo? Zodiac sign for January 2021. Thank you. Awesome. All right, clarify playfulness here. Oh. Okay. Can I have two more? Clarify playfulness here for Virgo. January 2021. Thank you. Clarify playfulness for Virgo, please. Clarify playfulness for Virgo, January 2021. Can I have one more? Clarify playfulness for Virgo, January 2021. Can I have one more, please, Spirit? Thank you. And can you clarify you deserve love for Virgo? Virgo, you do not want to open up to me, <laughs> okay? Thank you. Can we have one more, please? Clarify you deserve love for Virgo, January 2021. One more card, please. Can we have one more? You deserve love for Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. Awesome. Thank you. All right, guys. Give me one moment. Let me pull the energies here from the deck or from the spread, maybe I should say. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, acknowledging the bottom of the deck, uh, King of Wands energy. This is that entrepreneurial type of energy. This is the energy of I'm enjoying my best life. Yes, I enjoy company, but I'm not really, really ready to um, really sit down and commit to anyone. Okay, I'm just kind of going with the flow and enjoying it. Yes, there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of chemistry, but I'm uh, or in fire, but I'm not going to just uh, sit down and commit to anyone right now, right now. Okay. First card we have is, is it safe for you to love? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, okay? With that, to clarify, we have the Three of Cups, the Lovers, and Two of Wands. So I do feel that there is a past lover coming back here, Three of Cups, with the Lovers card. Uh, there actually may be two people, okay? Because we do have the Two of Wands, and I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made, or there's a path that you need to choose. It could be an option, okay? And a, an option here of choosing someone so you could be balancing two people or you may have an option to choose between two people here the three of cups could be a person from the past the lovers could be a new energy and the two of wands here is saying okay um well i could make the decision to choose between this or that or um for some of you now for the others i feel like this is an opportunity for a person coming back from the past wanting to reconcile um, that has a that you were actually in love with. You had a lot of love for. 
uh, a connection with and you're making the choice do I choose them or do I continue on the path where I am and focus on me myself and 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 things like that um, now we do have playfulness here so to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine all right so here I see the nine of wands the three of Pentacles and five of Pentacles so the nine of wands is a wounded warrior type of energy this is someone who has went through battles battle or battles I want to say battles because we we have the other ones behind them and there's still another one here so I feel like you've went through battles this could have been uh, with relationships or with a relationship with this person here this past energy trying to come back as well and you're trying to decide like okay if I go through this again I'm really gonna have to work on it with this person but if I do all of this work with this person is it going to end up that we end up separating from each other again in January you know if, if I put if I put in all of this work I just don't want to give all of this work to this person again and then we end up you know separated out in the cold what if they leave me again or what if I leave them again you know what's the point so I feel like you're you right now aren't really just looking for again a, a relationship or a commitment like you don't really want to commit because you enjoy it I feel like you enjoy the company of this person but you don't want to necessarily um, be in a relationship with this person or be in a committed relationship like with a title on top because you're afraid that it's going to end again or it's going to end up where you two walk away from each other. Like what it to me it's like why put in all of this work, you know, why why am I having to put in all of this work to make a relationship work? It's not supposed to be a whole bunch of work. You know, we're supposed to have good times as well. And so I feel like the playfulness here, it's like the relationship has lost the um, the good times of like sitting around enjoying just enjoying the company with each other or just going out and having fun out on a date and things like that. It could be uh, you guys may be arguing a lot or fighting over something or it's, um, you're always having to work, 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 work on the relationship and you feel like, wow, we're not really getting anywhere. Let's just end it. Um, now, I do have you deserve love. You are lovable. And then we have the star, the eight of wands, and the ace of pentacles. So the star and the eight of wands, this is the, the eight of wands is fast moving, okay? Quick movement, could be love arrows coming in as well. The star is a sign of hope, optimism, positivity, uh, looking forward, you know, hoping and wishing for the better here. So I feel like you do want love in your life. It's just maybe you feel like because of the situation you've been through with this past person that you don't necessarily deserve it right now, okay? Could be that. Um, or you may feel like you're the reason that the relationship doesn't work when that's not the case, okay? that That's not the case. It takes two people to make a relationship work. If one person's giving it 100% and the other person's giving it only 50, it's not going to work, all right? So don't blame yourself. You deserve love. You know, don't let this person make you feel as though um, you're not it, you know what I'm saying? Or, or you're the reason that nothing is being successful or nothing is working out. Don't feel that way. Now, I do see an opportunity here, Ace of Pentacles, um, coming in for you. Okay, this could be financial because uh, Pentacles are sign energy. Okay, this could be a financial opportunity here. Could be something that's going to bring you a lot of value, a lot of opportunities, financial abundance, success. As you can see, this person's reaching out with a hand and a Pentacle in it. So this is something uh, valuable that's coming forward to you. Now, this could also be a, a, a love situation, a love opportunity where someone's saying, hey, look, I'm not coming empty handed this time or I'm not coming with only part, uh, a piece of the pentacle. I'm coming with uh, the full amount. OK, but I feel like this is also a way of you saying I will not accept anything less than what I deserve, you know, with the ace of pentacles. If they're not coming at me with a full pentacle in hand, I am not accepting it. Uh, but let's pull the energy of this person here. Clarify the energy of the person surrounding Virgo. Zodiac sign, please. Clarify the energy of the person surrounding Virgo. Zodiac sign, please. Thank you. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, and the lovers. Okay, so this person is definitely coming forward here uh, with love, with something stable, with the, with the pentacle in hand here, okay? We have the lovers and the Queen of Pentacles. So this person is definitely coming forward with something stable, something... Uh, that can offer value to you, all right? Uh, this person also coming in, they could be a, um, for some of you, not all of you, they could be a single parent or the, um, the main breadwinner, 
in their type of uh, home. Um, see what's on the bottom. Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Yeah. They're making a decision. They're making some type of... It's like they've balanced out something in their life that made them realize that you made them feel balanced out or you made them feel equal. Okay? Like, they realize that, okay, wow, you, you make me feel like I can conquer the world when I'm with you here with this Queen of Cups energy. So they're, they're definitely coming forward here. Let's um, clarify the energy of this person surrounding Virgo, please. Hand of cards. Take a chance, risk being strategic options. Start showing hand and gambling. So yeah, they're definitely coming forward. They're trying to figure out what is the best way to approach uh, my Virgo. How do I approach them? You know, I, I'm, I'm ready to take this risk. I want to come forward because if I don't, I'm going to lose them. Oh, wow. Twin flame is what came out. Yin and yang. Okay, soul tie, commitment type of energy. So this person could be your twin flame. Mm, that is coming forward. That is definitely freaking coming forward. Tell me more about this person coming towards Virgo. They're coming fast. Again, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany of people, and transformation. It's like they've went through some type of epiphany, uh, awakening, and they've realized my Virgo is, 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 is a person I love. They're my twin flame. I want to be with my Virgo. I, I need to figure it out. What do I need to do to make this work? I need to come forward to my Virgo with the pentacle in hand. I can't come empty-handed, okay? But just be careful because we do have addiction on the bottom, and then soulmates is beside that. So um, make sure it doesn't become like a codependent type of obsessive, uh, possessive type of relationship here because we do have addiction in soulmate. So be careful um, because, you know, if it, it can start off as the soulmate, but it can end up as the devil energy. And when it switches over to the devil energy, that's that obsessive, possessive, controlling, and toxic type of energy. So just uh, be careful with this person here. But I do I definitely see them coming forward here, coming towards you, Virgo. They want you. They feel that they need you. Any clarity or advice here for Virgo Zodiac sign, please, for January 2021? Believe and succeed. Any advice or clarity here? Thank you. And trust. So, if you believe that there will be a healthy relationship, that you uh, deserve love, that this relationship would actually work, you know, that you two are going to put in the same amount of work here, then if you believe it, then you can definitely succeed in this opportunity, okay? It will bring you the abundance that you desire, that you deserve, all right? We also have trust, okay? So this opportunity here is going to cause you um, to, to have trust in it, to have faith in this opportunity. Because without it, without trusting, okay, that this is going to work or this is going to uh, push forward or this is going to bring me the happiness that I deserve, you know, being positive, thinking positive, thinking about the positive outcome. If you don't think that way, then it's not going to bring you the uh, happiness that you want. So they're saying have trust in this opportunity because you do deserve love. You're lovable, all right? And then the last thing I'm going to give you is the angel answer. So if there's any questions that you want to ask now, please go ahead and ask them. And then please apply these answers to your questions as they resonate. All right, any last messages here for Virgo Zodiac sign for January 2021? Any last messages here for Virgo for January 2021? Thank you, Spirit. Trust. Trust again popped out. Wow. The trust card popped out again here. Trust. So we have trust twice. Any last messages for Virgo Zodiac sign for January 2021? Any last messages for Virgo? We also have the wait card. Any last messages here for Virgo, Zodiac side? Thank you. And communicate clearly. That is key. All right. Guys, if you don't mind, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Feel free to subscribe down below if you have not already and you are new to my channel. And, yeah, I appreciate you guys so, so much for the love and support. Without you, I would not be here today with being able to deliver these messages to you guys. So, I thank you so, so, so much for the love and support. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.